What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the intake manifold runner control in this 2001 BMW 325XI. If you need this part or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. To remove and replace this intake manifold runner control, you don't necessarily have to take all these panels off or this cover or even the airbox, but it's a lot easier for us to show on camera taking it up. With the trunk open, over on the right side or the passenger side, there should be a cover that goes right here. This vehicle doesn't have one, but you're gonna to wanna to remove that cover. Battery is located right here. First thing I'm gonna do is take a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet, loosen up this nut for the negative terminal. And that's loose. Slide off the cable, slide it out of the way. I'm gonna take these push pins out right here. I'm just gonna use some side cutters, get this center pin, pull that up, and then slide it out. Be careful not to cut it. Get those out. Just grab this piece, slide it out. I'm just gonna disconnect this connector to the mass airflow sensor. Push down on this tab. Wiggle it out, take a straight blade screwdriver, loosen up this clamp right here. Should be good. You can push that snorkel off right there. And there's all these clips pulling the top of the air box off. I'm just gonna take the top off. This last one over here, it was kind of tricky to get to. Pull a dipstick out of the way. You just grab the air box, pull the air filter out. You're gonna take these two bolts out and use a 10 millimeter socket extension and an electric ratchet. You can use a regular ratchet if you don't have an electric one or an air powered one. Loosen them up, take them out. And just grab the air box, slide it up. Uh, this wire is on the, this little grommet right here. Just try to slide that out. All right, take that off. Just slide this out of the way. I'm gonna take this cover off right here. Just take these clips, twist it to the side. Just like that, <clears throat> grab this and slide it out. This weather strip might be in the way. It should slide forward. You can take the cabin filter out. It slides out as well. Uh, I need to remove these wires from this housing right here. You can either take the cover off or you can slide it up right there. I like to take this cover off. Just take a screwdriver, slide that off like that. Pull that out of the way. Grab these wires. Pull that down. Pull this one down. Now I'm gonna use a T30 socket extension and a ratchet, and I have four screws right there. Take those off. So it's all loose. You just slide this panel up. Slide it out of your way. Just gonna take this weather strip off and just slide it up. It's a retainer right here. Slide this retainer out. And then slide these hoses off here in the wiring. You should be able to slide this up. You might have something holding this in near the firewall, but uh, this vehicle doesn't have that. So, and then just sneak it past the hose. and slide it out. Disconnect this connector right here. There's a little push retainer right there. Slide that off. Now I'm gonna take this valve out. I'm gonna use a T30 and a socket and a electric ratchet. You can use a regular ratchet if you don't have an electric one. There's a screw right here on top. There's another one underneath here. Right about there. Just 
like that, take those out. Just need to grab the valve and just slide it out. Take this and just slide this back in position, just like that. Take the two screws. I'm just gonna use my T30 socket to help get these screws started. And then same underneath here. And then I'm just gonna take my electric ratchet and just snug these up. Not too tight. That's good. And that's good. Take the electrical connector, line it up, and plug it back in. So now we're gonna reinstall this panel. Just slide these wires and this vacuum line up. And if you struggle to get this in, you can always pull the vacuum line off the brake booster. Just pop that out. There's a couple coolant hoses over here. So underneath here, there's a clip that has the coolant hoses on. That's gonna actually clip to the cover. So you just slide that up, that's good. Slide these hoses back in position. Like that and like that. Pop that back in the brake booster. Take this clip retainer, slide this into position. it in and twist it just like that and if you have another one put that one in as well slide the weather strip over here just like that and then you can reinstall that cover up top now we're just going to slide this side of the lower air box in here um, yours may have something that this connects to this vehicle doesn't just slides in position and then this lower part slides there and make sure these holes are lined up. Take these two bolts, get these started. Take a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet and tighten these down. I'm using an electric ratchet. If you don't have an electric ratchet, just use a manual one. Take the air filter and install it. I'll take the top part of the air box we're going to slide it onto the snorkel first. Just like that. And then there's all these clips. Take these clips. Lock this part down. Connect the mass airflow sensor or airflow meter. I'm going to slide this clamp right here, take a straight blade screwdriver and tighten it down. Just snug, not too tight. Give it a shake, make sure it's good. Take this piece, slide this into the air box, just like that. And there's retainers right here. Take those push pins, lock them down. All right, now we want to install this. Just get this lined up. You can get these screws started. Now I'm going to take a T30 socket extension and a ratchet, tighten these up. 
now reinstall these wires in this cover right here. Just like that. Take this cover, line it up. And that's good. Take the filter. We're gonna slide it in with the curved side towards the vehicle. So the bowed side more towards the out of the vehicle. Just slide that in position like that. We'll take this cover. It's going to just slide in underneath this weather stripping. Just push it in. Get these lock tabs to line up and lock them down. They're spring loaded. And the last one. And you're good to go. Then we can take the negative side, connect the negative side. Take the same 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, tighten it up. That's good. At this point, if you had that cover, you're gonna wanna put the cover back where it goes. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com, your place for DIY auto repairs, for great parts, great service, and more content.